Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about Google Maps and how to use Google Maps. And especially if you are having issues not being able to locate uh, your own position or find your way through the city, then I have some tips and tricks how to get this fixed. So let's get started. And the first thing is that you need to make sure that your device is connected to Wi-Fi and therefore internet. So make sure either you have a data enabled on your mobile or on this iPad, you should be able to connect to a Wi-Fi. So make sure you are connected. I'm connected now. Go into settings, go into Wi-Fi. Just simply make sure that you are connected. If you are not having a good connection, maybe try to put it in airplane mode and take it out of airplane mode again and see if it connect to your Wi-Fi or your mobile data network. So this is the first thing. Next thing up is my always good advice. If you have any issues with your iPad, iPhone, then always do a restart of your device. Simply just up down on the volume button and then slide to the right and you turn off your device. These are the two simple uh, things that you can do if you are having issues with Google Maps and not being able to find your location. Let's try to go into Google Maps and in here you can see it is already saying that I don't have my location service turned on. So Google Maps is not really able to locate anything right now. I see. Cancel OK, and you can see it just simply finds somewhere else. This is not where I'm located right now, so it's just simply going back to the States. So let's go into the settings and see how we can enable the location service into settings. And in here we go down to the privacy and security. And the first uh, thing up here is the location service and you can see it is off. Simply go into this one and make sure to turn it on. So now my location service is turned on. But this is probably not enough. So I would definitely recommend you to go down into Google Maps settings. Find Google Maps right here. So in here we have different settings and the first one is the location. And in here you have four different choices. You can say never, then you will definitely not be able to use the location service and Google Maps will still complain. So at least take the always, then it's always on or only the one while using app. This is the one I recommend you to always use. And down here we have a precise location. This is definitely also a good idea to have that enabled because then your Google Maps will be more precise with the location and being able to find your right way through the morning traffic. So uh, that was the location service. Then we have another setting that is also very important to have enabled. So if I go back into my general session setting uh, section and in here we have the background app refresh simply go into this one and here you will have a long list of your apps that needs to sometimes use the background app refresh and in here i simply can find my google maps and as you can see it is actually turned off, so I will turn it on with the right one. And now it is enabled and will be able to run in the background. If you are in the traffic or whatever, then you will always be able to use Google Maps. If your app has been installed for several months or years back, then it is always a good idea to check for updates on the app. So simply go into your app store, go into search, go for the Google Maps, this one. So in here you can see different things and your Google Maps 
app will show up. And as you can see here, it is actually saying update. So I will definitely just push the button and it is now updating my Google apps map uh, app in here. And as you can see, this is the way it looks like when it is updating, it is saying loading. And then you can see how far it is and it will only take a few seconds before it is updated. And now I will have the latest fixes from Google and that could also be a good uh, solution for uh, apps not working as you expected to. So let's go into it again and see, yes, it is actually able to locate right now. The last thing I have for, for this small help video is to go into your settings again. And in the general section, again, go back here and we go all the way down to the bottom of this section. We have the transfer or reset iPad. And in here we have the possibility to reset some different settings. So if I click the reset, then I will get some options uh, and the button one, the last one, the reset location and privacy is a good idea. If all the other tips didn't work for you, then I would definitely try this one. Simply click it and uh, you will enter your passcode and it will reset all your settings for the different things we just showed you here. That could be a good idea because sometimes people mess up their settings and resetting those back to default settings from the factory, that is a good idea. So if none of the other tips worked, then try this reset of the location and privacy settings. And hopefully this will give you a Google Maps uh, app that is working again and you will be able to find your way through the morning or afternoon traffic and get back home. I hope you liked this video and could uh, use some of the tips and tricks. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel and all the help videos I have, give me a subscribe on the channel. If you have any questions or comments, simply put it underneath this video and I will read it and get back to you if you have any questions. Thanks a lot and uh, see you soon. To like my videos, then find my channel and simply subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification every time a new video is out there. Find all my previous videos about helping out with iPhone or iPad. And you can also find the community area where you can ask questions and chat with some of the other subscribers.